How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Last time, in Moon version, we took on the Battle Royal Dome on Royal Avenue. I didn't really have much of a reason for using Moon version, I kind of just felt like it, because there's not really any version differences, and that was like the whole shtick of doing two different games. Anyway, after that, it was a pretty quick match, we ended up making our way to Route 7, Waylay Volcano Park, and we ended up making our way up the volcano, traversing it with the Seismic Sisters and whatever, with their charming and lovely and whatever personalities. Uh, and we made our way to the tippy top of the volcano for the trial of Kiawe. So, without any further ado, I'm gonna stop fanning myself, even though I'll probably end up doing that anyway, because... I mean, for the love of God, we are at the top of the volcano. And, uh, let's go into the totem's den to do our trial. I am Kiawe. My Marowak and I are students of the ancient dances that have been passed down in Alola for generations. The trial of Kiawe. You will find that it is a bit different than the trials you have faced to this point. But of course, you will attempt it, right? Yeah, of course. My trial will test your powers of observation. There will be a dance, and then another. Your task will be to find the difference between the two. Begin. Watch carefully, and memorize this dance. What was different from the previous dance? The middle Marowak. But, but how? That was truly spectacular. And to add to the spectacle... Come, Marowak! Alright, we are facing Alolan Marowak, which, like I mentioned last time, is a fire and ghost type, which, again, I still don't really understand, but, you know, the whole thing with Alolan forms and their lore, it can be a... I don't want to say touchy subject, because that sounds like it's, like, completely brutal and upsetting. I don't know, I do really feel like Alolan Marowak should have probably been fire ground and not fire ghost, but, you know, again... I'm not the developers of the game. I really wish I could develop it on a Game Freak game. That would be actually really cool, to be honest. Although, half of the fan base would probably hate me for my decisions. Marowak was so pleased by your right answer that it simply had to battle you. Onward to the second dance. Watch carefully and memorize this dance. What was different from the previous dance? Uh, well, there wasn't a hiker in the middle of the photo, or I guess off to the side. But, but how? That was truly spectacular. And to add to the spectacle, come, my fine hiker. Avola! Alright, so we're taking on a trainer as part of the trial. Kind of similar, well, not really, because we were facing Team Skull, and Team Skull Grunts are bad guys in the. back in uh, Illuma's trial. But we're facing a trainer, we're, we're doing a trainer battle, and not like one of those side ones like in Lana's trial where. It's kind of optional, to be honest. You don't need to face, like, any trainer at all there. Uh, but anyway, here this hiker has a Magmar that is level 21, I think it said? Anyway, uh, level 19. Oh, wow. I, I don't know how I saw a 2 there when there was a 1 and a 9. Alright, uh, but it did use Smokescreen, but I did break through to hit a Scald, and that is all I really wanted, because... I want to get to this totem Pokemon as quickly as possible. 
Dartrix is gonna grow to level 30, thanks to the experience share being on. That was really actually on while I was hunting for my Salandit, because of course I wanted a female Salandit because I want it to evolve later. My hiker friend was so pleased by your right answer that he simply had to battle you. Onward to the final dance. Can I just say I really love the usage of the hiker in this, it just makes it so funny. Watch carefully and memorize this dance. What was different from the previous dance? Now, you can't get this question wrong at all. You can say the totem Pokemon, the black Pokemon, the new Pokemon, the suspicious Pokemon, and if you want to watch it again, you can say watch again. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the totem Pokemon. But, but how? That was truly spectacular. And to add to the spectacle, come. Totem Pokemon! Here we go, we have been challenged by Totem Salazzle, and if its look is any indication, you know that this is the evolved form of female Salandits. So Salazzle here, I think it's all stats of its rows, I think that's it. I wasn't really paying attention because I was focusing on, you know, talking about how this is the evolved form of a Pokemon I caught for my team off screen and from the previous episode. Uh, anyway, this is a very powerful and very challenging uh, trial uh, totem battle if you do not have a water type or a Pokemon that can use rock or ground moves. Uh, I'm gonna actually use a Z-move personally for the very first time outside of tutorials and I'm going to use Hydro Vortex with Wishy Washy. Flame Burst. Oh, that might hurt a little bit. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all. Wishy Washy was surrounded with Z-Power and the full force Z-move, Hydro Vortex, is being unleashed. And down goes Totem Salazzle in one shot. Should I have just done this the normal way? Yeah, probably, but I probably would have been sitting here for like 10 minutes otherwise. Wishy Washy grew to level 29? And that was it. But we defeated the Totem Salazzle, and that's all that really matters. Whoa! S spectacular! With your keen observations, you were able to see even fine differences in our dances. And you defeated the Totem Pokemon with such ease! The totem Pokemon was carrying a Fire MZ. It is yours now. Trial complete. This is how you use your Fire-type Z-Power! Thank you, my dear Marowak. For when you meet a Pokémon that you would like to make your companion, take these! We've obtained 10 Quick Balls. Very, very nice. What's more, you may now use the ride Pokemon Charizard. Charizard will lend you its strength 
And, oh, it actually says his strength, though. Okay. His strength, and you will be able to go anywhere you have been in an instant. Charizard has been registered to our ride pager. This fiery MZ, you should show it to the trial guide outside the captain's barricade at the bottom of my mountain. It is time for us to return to our dance. The feeling of the Alolan people and our Pokemon and the true nature of Z-Power. The answer lies in our dance, and so we must dance on. It's so funny watching Kiawe in this game be like a dancer when in the anime Kiawe's like a serious battler. I don't know, it just, it's just very funny to me. I don't know why. Uh, nothing along here. I, maybe I thought there was maybe a Zygarde cell we could collect, but maybe that's during the daytime. I don't know. There's many day and night different Pokemon, uh, d day and night Zygarde cell things. Anyway, we now have our Pokemon all healed up, and you know what? I'm just going to use the Charizard Ride Pager. Uh, let me default it to the down tab on my D-pad. And I'm just going to fly back to the Royal Avenue, because why not? Uh, let's see, Royal Avenue right here. Yes, let us fly back. Well, that was easy, and it puts us right outside of the Royal Avenue building. Well, that's cool. Uh, so... Now, let's return to Route 7, so we can actually, would it be quicker if I went on Tauros? It probably would. Let's just charge with Tauros, back onto Route 7, and let us go clear that Trial Guide Barricade. Oh, that's a fiery MZ. Congratulations on clearing Kiawe's trial. In that case... Here you go, you're free to pass. Captain Mallow's trial is up ahead. Go along Route 8 and you'll find it. Lush Jungle. Alright, I somehow ended up off of my Tauros, but that's fine. Let's make our way to Route 8. Hey, you seem like one of those important trainers that I need to defeat everybody else to take on. What's that? You want to battle me even when I'm using my full force? Fine, then beat every other trainer on route. Yeah, 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 I knew it. Island Challenge Marker. If you let your Pokemon evolve, they will grow stronger, but the timing for when they learn new moves will also change quite a bit. If you happen, if you hope to compete, uh, complete the Island Challenge, think well on your partner's strength. Ah, interesting. I keep hearing like this popping noise. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's my, uh, maybe it's the water in my fridge. I don't know. Anyway, hi, are you a, no, you're not a trainer. Pokemon Refresh, Pokemon, uh, Pokepelago. Everybody keeps talking about Pokepelago. I don't have that option on my X menu. I don't know why people keep mentioning it. Hey, there's a Zygarde cell. Speaking of that a couple minutes ago. Nice. All right, let's go in this building here, this trailer kind of in the middle of the route. Hey, it's Aether Foundation. Why, hello, trainer. Looks like you got a Pokedex on you. How would you like to do a little part-time work on behalf of the Aether Foundation? Sure. We at the Aether Foundation work to protect Pokemon through conservation. In order to protect Pokemon though, we must know a good deal about them and how they live. Right now we are serving the Stuffle that live on Route 8. The Foundation is collecting its own data of course. But we would also like to know what data on the Pokedex records about them. So, your job, if you should choose to accept it, would be to register the Stuffle on Route 8 in your Pokedex and then show us the data. We will pay you for the work, of course. I hope you'll help us out. Well, it just so happens I do have some data on Stuffle. You've caught a Stuffle? Then would you show me your Pokedex? I see. The biology of this Stuffle is one that we hadn't yet uncovered in our own research. This is just the level of detail that I knew we could expect 
from the Pokedex. Thank you very much. Here is your pay. 5,000 Poke Dollars. Not exactly great. Thank you for helping us with our research. I think we'll have an even better understanding of Stubble thanks to this. You're welcome? What are you doing with this Slowpoke, though? We are members of the Aether Foundation. We work to carry out conservation efforts and care for Pokemon that have been hurt by bad people, like those Team Skull Thugs. Slowpoke's tail has fully regrown now, but Pokemon should be like family. Team Skull can't get away with crimes like this. Aww, they cut off the Slowpoke tail. I like how it even looks at us. Hi, Slowpoke. Nice to see you. Alright, well, that is it for the Aether Foundation trailer hitch thing here on Route 8. So, uh, it's time for us to go find some trainers to fight, shall we? You there. Oh, excuse me. I am a scientist. My name is Colorus. The theme of my research is bringing out the potential of Pokemon. What brings out the power of Pokemon is... I believe that is the bond they share with their trainers. And thus my attention is drawn to trainers like yourself. Trainers bound to their Pokemon through the power of the Z-Ring. Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. James, is it? I'll remember your name. It actually reminds me of someone I dealt with many years ago. To commemorate our encounter, let me give you a TM. TM43 for Flame Charge. If you are able to utilize Flame Charge fully, you will be able to have a great battle with the totem in the next trial. The trial in Lush Jungle. Z Power. Is it the true potential that I seek? Does it surpass the Mega Ring? Apparently, there are uninhabited islands for Pokemon called Poke Pelago here in Alola. Alola is fascinating. I believe that I will stay in Alola for some time. Well then, James, I hope to see you again sometime. That's right, the former Team Plasma scientist Colrus is in the Alola region. So many cameos already from Dexio and Cinna, the assistants of Professor Sycamore, and now a former member of Team Plasma? Man, oh man! Well, on top of the all the Kanto Alolan forms too, but I mean... That's different from because they're Pokemon. Anyway, you might have noticed that I've kind of glossed over that whole I had a stuffle in my Pokedex thing. Well, if I get on out of here and avoid as many trainers as I possibly can... Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to take on all these trainers off screen. And I'm going to meet you at the Pokemon Center that I know is later in the route. Because, uh, I have something to share with you. Before I do stop off at the Pokemon Center though, I want to mention that over here in this patch of grass on Route 8, you will find a Miracle Seed, which you can give to a Grass-type Pokemon to increase its moves. Alright, so I made it to the Pokemon Center, and again, before I get to what I want to say, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon. I know I already had the interruption getting the Miracle Seed, but you know... I want to heal my Pokemon too, because healing my team is important. There we go. Nice. Everybody's all nice and healed. Perfect. And now, if we go into the PC. So, you might recall I had stories of this and that from my previous playthrough of Moon, which I pretty much had everything in. And speaking of everything in Moon, there was also Wrong Box. There were also a couple of Pokemon that I had in Moon. I had the Shiny Gumshoes, which I found later on in the game. I ended up hatching a Shiny Minior in the game. And I also found a Shiny Mudbray in the game. That's why this had a Pokeball next to it previously, and I already told the story, so that doesn't make sense for me to cover it again. 
But there was another shiny Pokemon that I got during my Moon Adventures. Well, live streaming adventures. And that is this shiny Stuffle. Now, I've given it different moves, and I've also given it the leftovers, but it came as it is right now. I found it here on Route 8. It was adamant natured, and it has the fluffy ability. Funnily enough, for some reason, everything worked out that way. I wasn't expecting to get the adamant nature, but it ended up working out. Uh, I SOS chained for this specific stuffle. Uh, I'll remember to post the tweet of when I found it, because I wasn't counting it at the time and I wasn't streaming it either. This was the very first SOS chain shiny I found in Sun and Moon. And I figured to tie everything together from when I first played Pokemon Moon and SOS chained for this shiny stuffle when SOS chaining was brand new and nobody really knew the mechanics of it, I figured I would use this stuffle on my Pokemon Sun team because it's the main adventure that I'm using for this series. I'm not going to add it to my team right now though because traded Pokemon do get extra experience and if I were to add it to the team now, it's actually higher level than Salandit right now by one level. So I kind of want to wait a little while longer to add this Stuffle to my team. But I couldn't really keep this in any longer. I really, really wanted to let you know now that this is going to be the fifth team member. Most likely not after the next trial, which will probably either be the next episode. Actually, yeah, it might actually be the next episode. Wow. There's not really much of Route 8 to explore on camera because everything is all over the place. But, uh, yeah, there's not much left to Route 8. Just, like, a motel, some extra side thing, and some beach area. So, uh, with that... That is going to do it for this episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Next time we will explore the rest of Route 8, and uh, we might as well just do the trial at the Lush Jungle, why not? With that, thank you for watching, and until next time, catch you later.